Hello everybody. So in this video, we'll be discussing about how can we build a CD pipeline for a static website hosting. So before discussing about uh, how we can build a CD pipeline, let me give a background of why I built a CD pipeline. So since last 15 days, I was working on a Vue.js project. It's a static website project. Uh, where I need to develop a Swing Machine uh, website uh, which will display different products related to different uh, uh, Swing Machine providers. Okay, and I need to showcase them in the static websites. So uh, in the Vue.js, whenever you are uh, you want to deploy that, right? So you need to deploy two files uh, into the uh, mm, S3. So here the static website provider in my case is S3. The first one is the distribution file, that is the build.js file, which gets generated after running the npm run build command. And the second one is the index.html file. So these are the two mandatory files which needs to be present in the S3. And after uh, uploading those two files to S3, you need to make them public. Okay. And then you need to specify that uh, in the static website hosting configuration for, uh, option in the S3 that uh, you need to refer whenever someone navigates to the uh, website, as you can see in this uh, image, this URL, you need to route to the index.html file. So these are the configurations that you need to specify each time you are uploading a file. So whenever I'm uh, developing, uh, whenever I was developing this uh, Vue.js application, I need to add new, new features at every moment. So I need to see the output also how it looks like uh, whenever I, I, whenever I deploy that. So for that, I need to upload the distribution, the uh, distribution file and the index.html file and I need to make them public and I need to set the configuration. So these are the processes which I had to follow each and every time I need to see how my uh, feature looks like in the internet. So this is, a con this is a same repeated process that I need to follow. So for that, I, I thought that I need to avoid this process to fast, uh, to, uh, fast in my um, development process. So for that, I built a CD pipeline and uh, I will be discussing now each of the steps what I followed to build that CD pipeline. So um, I, I am completely relying on the Amazon Web Service uh, Cloud where I have leveraged the AWS Code Commit service where I have committed all of my development uh, related files and the complete source project is present in the AWS code commit. There I created a repository and I have committed everything. And uh, I have integrated that with the AWS uh, code pipeline. The pipeline consists of, uh, uh, the pipeline actually governs uh, the AWS code commit and the AWS code build. It has two stages. The first stage is the AWS code commit. And the second stage is the AWS code build where actually I run the build command. That means the npm run build command. And then I, uh, then I deploy the files to the S3. So let's look at uh, the AWS code commit as part of the first stage of the pipeline. So this is the AWS code commit console. There I have created the repository and the repository name is Swing Machine. And I have committed all of my files, Vue.js related files over here. And I have integrated this with the code pipeline. So what happens whenever I commit anything to this repository, it triggers the pipeline. Actually, CloudWatch event rule is uh, configured as part of the creation of the pipeline. It triggers the pipeline and uh, it runs the necessary phases. Okay. So to integrate with the code pipeline, you need to have one file in your root project of the uh, root folder of your project. So in my root folder, root folder is this is the folder name. So this is the file. Okay. This is the file. It has to be present in your root 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 folder. Okay. So in this root folder, uh, in this file, you can see there are three phases. One is the install phase. Second one is the build phase, and third one is the post build phase. So 
in the install page i need to install the npm because uh, to build a vue.js project you need to have npm and uh, this is the uh, package i need for my project to be built that is the babel preset es2015 so this is these are the required commands to build my project to install the necessary plugins to run my project in the install phase and in the second build build page i need to run the npm run build command where i am actually building my project so as part of the build process it generates the build.js file okay let me show that to over here actually in my local i have built that file so um, this is the distribution folder whenever you are running npm run build this distribution folder will be created and within that this build.js file will be created okay so i need to deploy this file into the s3 so in the post build section now i am copying this build.js file to the s3 location this is the bucket name and along with that i am also copying the index.html file to the bucket location so after that as i said i need to make these two objects to be public so that it could be accessible publicly so for that i need to put the object as here after that i need to configure the static website hosting configuration so for that i need to run this command i need to provide the bucket name and i need to provide the website configuration so for that i have actually committed one of the website.json file in my project and that needs to be present so that uh, this command can read it and put the proper website configuration so this is the required file where i have uh, the index.html file and second one is the error document and for that error document also i have provided the index.html file you can have an error.html file also so here we discussed about the complete three phases which are required for the building of this project and remember that this build spec.yml file should be present at the root folder of the your project okay so let's look at the pipeline so in this pipeline as you can see there are two stages one is the source stage and the second one is the build stage so in the source stage i uh, my source is the aws code commit which is uh, the this one that means whenever i am committing something it triggers an event and this pipeline will be started okay so this is the source and once the source phase is complete then it will run the build phase so in the build phase whatever i discussed in the previous section like uh, it uh, goes through three phases that is the install phase then the build phase then the post build phase so what are the necessary commands i have written in those phases that will be executed step by step okay so after those uh, stages are complete i upload these files to the s3 in the in this bucket as you can see in the distribution folder i have provided the build.js file and the index.html file and as you can see in the properties section the static website hosting is enabled because this is the last command which i executed as part of the build process as part of the post build process okay so yeah so these are the uh, stages uh, that uh, gets executed uh, let me show you uh, the actual logs which gets generated whenever the build is running okay so whenever the build runs right it uh, creates uh, it writes those uh, uh, log messages to the log group which i have created so this is the log group which i have created and uh, this is the uh, log streams for that log group so let's look at the log streams so this is the build stage so this is the build stage as you can see and this is the first command which got executed and after that uh, the npm run npm installed and all of those commands got executed as part of the build and this is the preset i think it is it is part of the install phase and after this the build got executed npm run build 
and finally i have uh, executed this uh, command which actually created the static website configuration permit okay so let's uh, see this in action suppose i want to uh, commit something let's uh, have a dummy commit something like and i have added a space and uh, so i have just committed uh, one dummy change just to showcase that it has actually triggered my pipeline so this is actually event driven process just uh, refreshing this page so as you can see that aws code commit has been triggered that means the first stage of this uh, pipeline okay so this is an in progress state so this is this got completed as you can see and the build stage is now running so let's look at in the cloud watch so what happened it created one log stream for me okay so as you can see it has started the build it, it is now in the build stage I think build stage is now complete. Sorry, uh, the install phase is now complete and now it is in the build phase running npm run build command. And I think this is also complete and, and we are now entering the post build uh, phase where I have executed uh, all those commands, whatever needed. Okay. And uh, the this is succeeded. So this pipe, this uh, change which I committed, it is now succeeded and uh, the two stages are now complete. Okay, as you can see, this is the final message of this pipeline. So let me rephrase. Yeah, this is now complete. Okay, now let's navigate to the uh, website actually. So this is my website. It got deployed just now. So this is a simple website where I'm showcasing what are the uh, Swing Machine products that are available. So these are the Swing Machine products. And uh, Yep. So these are the. Uh, uh, this is the. This is a basic website which is which got deployed and uh, I just discussed like how you can automate this process, like by committing the codes and uh, building a pipeline and finally being deploying and navigating to the static website. Okay. So if you have any questions, you can. Uh, comment on the video okay thanks for watching